E. But first, I need to have your full attention. If you have any distractions around you or are multitasking while this video plays in the background, please pause everything for just one minute. Honestly, this concept will take less than one minute to spell out. Don't worry, I'm not judging you for multitasking. I do it all the time. The key to happiness is putting your ego in check. Okay, one minute is up. Now, if you know what that means, carry on with your day and happy multitasking. For everyone else, let's dig in a little deeper. Let's continue. I don't mean stop thinking too highly of yourself when I say put your ego in check. You should most definitely think highly of yourself. You are important and unique. That is the whole reason why you were born. What I mean by putting your ego in check is to stop allowing the persona you have developed to control your life. What do I mean by persona? Persona is how you identify yourself. Still not sure what I mean? Side note, I'm asking these questions because for me, when I started studying how the ego plays a role in your happiness, I didn't really understand how to identify my persona or ego. So I definitely didn't know how to manage it in order to be happy. Okay, so back to persona. Here's how to identify your persona. What is your position on abortion? When it comes to politics, do you consider yourself Republican, Democrat, Independent? What is your opinion on gun control? I will provide a brief pause in the conversation to allow you to think on these things for a moment. Okay. So I'm back. I bet you had some pretty strong opinions on the subject matters with defined reasons as to why you feel the way you do on those topics. Well, congratulations. You have just identified one part of your persona and were officially introduced to your ego. I want you to pause and celebrate this moment. No, seriously. I want you to celebrate this moment because you are now fully in control of your happy. But real quick, I want to back up just a little bit because there's something else important about you identifying your persona and meeting your ego. Your persona and ego also have other faucets besides just your opinion when it comes to politics. Your persona and ego also include your identity as a female, male, transgender, gay, lesbian, straight, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, or any other self-identifications. Also important to note is that other people you experience will identify you as various things as well. But your persona is what you agree as true concerning your identity. Okay, so back to putting your ego in check. Now that you have an idea and a further explanation as to what the ego is, we can now move on to putting it in check. Yes, honey, it is about to get good. I'm so excited for you because honestly, life is about to get a whole lot brighter. Remember when I said your persona is what you agree as true concerning your identity. Well, know this, you can decide that none of the identities that you or anyone else has placed on you is true. What I mean by this is that you can decide that yes, these terms are used to describe or categorize me, but I choose to say, I am just a being experiencing life. Eee! Didn't you want to freak out when I just said that? Did you say to yourself, I would like to think that, but I will never tell anyone that? Tell anyone that I'm just a being experiencing life? People will think I'm crazy. 
It's okay. Go ahead. Freak out. It's also okay to think it, but not repeat it out loud. But let me let you in on a little secret. It's your ego that's freaking out right now. Your ego is saying, well, what am I supposed to do if I don't have an identity anymore? How will I relate to other people? What opinion will I have about things? I will be lost if I don't have an identity. Well, I'm sorry to break the news to you, but your identity isn't even yours. It's the one that was created through your life experiences. Someone told you you were a boy or girl, black or white, gay or straight. You were told by someone or life's constructs that your opinions on life were considered either Republican or Democrat. The point is that the identity that you have is the one that you develop throughout your life. It is not the one you were born with. You have the power to make your identity whatever you wish it to be. But I do understand that it will take some serious bravery to do so. Because the ego has found comfort in the identity that has been developed. The ego has decided for itself that as long as I, as it has an identity, it has a way to protect itself. This way, the ego can apply tools to try to control its environment. Tools to try to prevent pain and to try to increase pleasure. But this is where we need to put the ego in check. This is where we need to put it in its place. Because let's be truly honest with it. The ego has done nothing but cause stress and unhappiness in trying to prevent pain and increase pleasure. Because if you actually sit back and examine your attempts to prevent pain and to increase pleasure, you will find that you are always chasing your tail working in a circle. Whenever you're trying to prevent pain, you found yourself unhappy while trying to do so. You were more stressed, trying to figure out the best way to prevent pain from happening. Whenever you were trying to increase pleasure, you were stressed trying to seek out pleasure, and then even more stressed trying to figure out how to hold on to the pleasure for as long as possible. Then when you were unsuccessful in holding on to pleasure, you felt pain again and then try to figure out how to do things differently so that when going after pleasure, you wouldn't suffer pain. Many of us live in this life cycle our whole lives and never realize we're living in this depressing cycle. We just keep the cycle going until our bodies are put to rest. But that brings me to the reason for this video. The reason for this video is to recognize this and know that you have a choice in the matter. Even more, you have the power to create happy for yourself right now and for the remainder of your life. It is not an easy thing to put your ego in check because as you've seen in the exercise before, it's hard to even identify what your ego is, let alone manage it so that you can be happy. But here's the key to making happy happen now and in every waking moment. Whenever you notice your ego taking the forefront of your feelings or choices you make, put it in check. Here's a quick reminder on how to know when it's trying to take the forefront of your life. Whenever you feel offended, whenever you have a belief system being challenged, whenever you have a particular desire being threatened, this is your ego. Put it in check by telling it, it's okay if, you think, if these things are happening. You're not the totality of who I am. So please stop trying to put yourself first. Here's a little more insight on the ego. Whenever these things are happening, whenever it's being challenged, it will tell you that your happiness is being threatened. There's no way you're going to be happy unless you have these things. When the truth is, is that you are most happy whenever these things aren't even an issue. 
So do yourself a huge favor and tell it, I have made a decision to be happy with or without you.